Hi, I want to talk about salad tonight because it's a healing salad. It's the easiest thing you can do on a daily basis uh, for your health and well-being. So I want to give you some options how I do it. Uh, it doesn't require any cooking, minimal, just a, a cutting board and a knife and a mandolin and a salad spinner. So what I do is to wash the vegetables, I start with a bowl of water and I put in some of uh, the Red Mill baking soda. Uh, let's say half a tablespoon. And it will clean your vegetables. The only thing is you have to agitate it. So when I put my greens in here, uh, I fill it up with water with the uh, baking soda and then I just mix it up so it's nicely agitated. Then I rinse them off, put them in the salad spinner, and they're ready to go. So right now, I have what's in here waiting is you don't, first and foremost, you don't want to use iceberg lettuce. There's no nutrition in iceberg lettuce. So you want to get, like I've got a really nice Boston lettuce here. I've got, uh, I've got a red leaf and a Boston here. The tops were red. I have some cilantro and flat leaf parsley. I have a really nice pick today, this morning. Let me get this out. This is a romaine lettuce. It's just beautiful. And behind it, I have some arugula. All of this was just picked this morning. Beautiful arugula. Uh, and I also want to show you um, I had some spinach in it. This is the size of the spinach leaf. Isn't that lovely? So that's what's already been washed, spinned in the salad spinner, and then I just cut through it. I, I bring it in bundles and cut through it. Because I personally don't, or you can pull it apart, but I like smaller pieces. I think it's just nicer to eat smaller pieces. So that's my base. So no iceberg lettuce, so use the romaine, the red leaf, uh, the, the Boston, uh, the green leaf lettuces. Those are our lovely lettuces too, and they're full of nutrition. The other thing I put in are some herbs. So these are fresh, this is rosemary, this is thyme, sage, and I decided to um, also add some chives. I'll tell you why. So um, these three, the sage, the thyme is spectacular, and the rosemary are so good for any upper respiratory problems. They're just really eat, uh, healing herbs. What I did is I, when you have like thyme like this, you go against the grain, and go on the floor, but that's okay, and you pull down, and you get the thyme leaves off of it, okay, and then you throw away the stem. I'll clean that up later because I really wanted to show you how to do that. And I don't use the, I do the same, I go against the grain with the rosemary and get all that off the stem and throw the stem away. And with the sage, I just take off the leaves of the sage. Uh, and the chives I would just uh, cut through. But what I did is I just put them, I washed them, and then I just put them all in the, uh, when they were dried off, and in the bullet. And so now I've got this nice, wonderful, powdery herb that I'll sprinkle on the salad or anything you're cooking. So that is the herbs and the base. So what I'll do is I've got the base. I'm going to sprinkle some of these herbs in it. And the whole point is to get as many different vegetables in your salad. This makes a great lunch. Oh, more. I love these things. So Now, some other things I'm going to add to this. Some other veggies. I have got, just to show you the variety, I have got some grated. Now, you can get a mandolin or a basic grater. This, I, I use a mandolin. I use this for, um, the sweet potato and the carrot and the zucchini and the red red cabbage and the uh, yellow beet. 
Uh, and I use this one for the radishes and the cucumbers. Works beautifully. So there's, this is easy, easy to do. So I'm going to add some red cabbage, nice color. I love a colorful salad, that's the red cabbage. And then we have here some um, yellow beet, which is very nice. And some zucchini, all cut up and ready to go. You can make a big, big bowl, it'll last three days. Just store it in a glass container with a cover, so that's your zucchini. Um, this is, uh, this is cilantro and some uh, flat leaf parsley chopped up and I did that with the knife. And then also, it also is the tops from the red radish. The tops from the red radish that most people throw away are one of the most nutritionally, powerfully packed healing greens you can eat. So um, if they look good, just put them in a salad. I also put them in green smoothies. So the radish tops and bottoms I use. So I'm just going to do this here. It's going to get to be a very big salad. And I also have here some carrot and sweet potato. Now, um, sweet potato is wonderful. Wonderful for uh, like seizure children and stuff. It's great. Carrot. Raw carrot is something I couldn't give Brie because she could eat cooked carrot, but she was allergic to raw carrot. So that's something that's been recognized in Europe. Um, and not necessarily will you be, but I would just uh, pay attention to that as far as the carrots go. Um, broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are amazing healing. They come in did have a broccoli, oh here it is, Jonathan's, you can buy these organic broccoli sprouts. Always check the date on it to make sure it's still within date for freshness. And I will put those on the salad. So we're getting a lot of veggies as you can see. Um, right now we have, oh my lord, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Not counting the herbs, vegetables. Uh, I'm going to put the sliced. I sliced the the red cabbage. <laughs> Slice the red radishes. <laughs> the radishes, not cabbage. And here are the sliced cukes. Cukes are so hydrating. They're so healing. I will make cucumber juice in the middle of the afternoon. So refreshing. So as you see, we're, we're getting quite uh, the abundance. And of course, you know what a sweet potato looks like, I'm sure. I just peel it and grate it up. Now, now that we've got that, and now the other thing I wanted to mention was some type of vegetable brush, especially for uh, washing sweet potatoes and your carrots or your roots. Uh, vegetable brush. They're few dollars. Now, now we've got, I, I'm not going to add any more because we've got a, a beautiful full salad. You can mix it up if you want or just leave it like that. Oh, now, now I'm going to add a, an extra bit of punch here. This is uh, Dulse Flakes. Fabulous for uh, cleaning heavy metals out of your body and what I mean by that are metals like mercury, which are in flu shots and uh, in medications. So I will just take like a tablespoon and sprinkle it on this. Okay, mix it in. Dulse flakes, full of minerals. Sea vegetables are where you get your minerals. And also, why not? You need at least a tablespoon of flaxseed a day. So the flaxseed is ground up uh, and I store the flax in the refrigerator. Okay, so it doesn't get rancid. So then I'll do that too. So now you're getting, uh, <clears throat> if you're wondering about, these are flaxseed and chia seeds are your omega-3s too, which is important. <clears throat> so now people say, well, where do I get my protein? Well, all plants have protein. 
you got a ton of protein. The, the seeds, the flax seeds, are, have got protein. Oh, and the other seed that I would add, too, would be hemp seed, which I have here somewhere. I forgot where I put it. But hemp seeds, absolutely. So you've got uh, the flax seeds, the hemp seeds. Now, to put an even bigger punch on it, if you want to go, this is your lunch tomorrow, um, this is just going to add the protein. Uh, the cornerstone of every society, according to the Blue Zone information, which was the National Geographic Research information, um, a cup of beans a day was one of the major factors in all of the peoples in the world that have uh, long, healthy lives. So chickpeas, you know, you can buy uh, chickpeas in a can. I would get the, personally, I get the uh, Eden if I'm going to do can going to get the Eden Organic <clears throat> and I'm going to rinse them off. For Bria, I always made the chickpeas from scratch. But I'm just thinking busy lives, going for it, better this than not at all. Okay, and these uh, cans are pretty safe cans according to a lot of the cans on the market. They're, um, they've really, Eden has made their cans safer. So then I just put in all the chickpeas. So now you've got a heck of a, a a powerful salad going in here and I will mix this around slowly so what I wanted to say and then you know I would top it I would go the whole way and top it with av avocado now I've split this avocado in half if you're only going to use half the avocado what I do because you know they they get brown so easily I'm sure other people have other ways I leave the pit in the half I'm not going to use and I put it away in the refrigerator. And the next day, I take the pit out and just skim the surface of this, cut off the surface, and it looks perfectly fresh because it'll get black, uh, darkened. When it's exposed to the air, it'll get dark pretty quickly. And then with the avocado, I just slice through it this way and then crisscross this way. And these are your healthy fats. And then I put it on top. So... That is definitely your daily quota for vegetables. You are way over it. I'm, I think they say five now, but I, I think they're going up to eight. So if you have at least add a salad and play with the vegetables, go into the market. And, and the one vegetable that I can't get right now is the um, watermelon radish. I love putting the rot watermelon radish because it's a round vegetable white on the outside but when you cut through it it's red on the inside you grade that up and it's just put the red on top it's just popping it's just beautiful um so the next thing i would do is you're wondering about the biggest mistake most people make is uh they go on a diet and they go i'm having a salad and i've seen it i've walked into places and then they take this commercial salad dressing and it's iceberg lettuce that they have and they just pour this over, which is full of dairy, which is saturated fat, which you don't want, and um, whey and all kinds of other things that has now, the benefits that you were having are now gone because they put so many calories on top with that. Uh, you can just squeeze some fresh lemon, organic lemon, or you do have these two products on the market this one is a vinaigrette by Bra Bragg's Liquid Amino, which is pretty clean. You know, I wouldn't do this for my daughter Brie for the healing level, deep healing level, but for anybody else, absolutely fine. This company, Daya, has come out with, if you can see it, Daya has come out with a non-dairy um, salad dressing it's pretty thick. I literally take some out of the bottle and, and mix some either coconut milk or water in it because really, personally, this I could get double the amount out of this because I find it pretty thick. But it's delicious. Uh, it's a blue cheese, but there's no dairy in it. It's a non-dairy product. The other idea is for those people that like to put like cheese on their salads, um, instead of, please stay away from the dairy. <laughs> Instead of um, the dairy products, which are whey, casein, milk, the ice creams, the yogurts, the butter, 
the sour, you know, the, the sour cream. Uh, cheese, for instance, it takes 10 pounds of milk to make one pounds of cheese. That's how saturated it is with uh, saturated fat, really. So these people make, in block form, a smoked Gouda and um, Montgomery Jack, which comes in a, in a square block which if you really wanted a replacement for your dairy products and your cheese that is a lot healthier for you, you can cut that up, dice that up, and put that in. Uh, so if you don't want to use that, for Brie, I never put any salad dressing on her salads ever, and it was fine. I blended all this up. I would just blender all this up for her. Um, but if I wanted to go a little bit fancier, I would have gotten some raw tahini like this. Tahini is sesame seeds. Sesame seeds are calcium. And I would have just put this in a bowl with some water and put it on. I made a lot of raw soups for Brie and to thicken them I would use this product. And it's the um, Vermont, Vermont raw nut butter tahini, organic. Another thing you can use would be another Bragg's product is this sprinkle, which has about 22 different herbs in it, which you put on. But, um, you know, it's so simple. Like, if you wanted to make a salad dressing, you could use a quarter cup of raw tahini, a quarter cup of lime or lemon juice, uh, one garlic clove, just put this in a bullet, one garlic clove, um, blender it up uh, with uh, even some zucchini, peeled zucchini in there um, and I think that's a you blender it up in a bullet add some water if you need it and you've got a nice salad dressing simple easy so please at least add salad it's so easy and it's so delicious my whole point make it colorful make it fun and don't um, make smaller pieces not these large chunks uh, you can put broccoli you know and cauliflower in but I would I would chop them up finer so that it's easy to eat and it's fun to eat. So salad, it's definitely healing. It's a way to get all your vegetables. Protein, this is packed with protein because every plant has a protein. Oh, and the last thing, fiber. It's packed with fiber. Animal foods, no matter what it is, cheese, beef, turkey, chicken, fish, no fiber. They have no fiber. This country is suffering from constipation. So you need fiber. Everybody needs fiber. This is it. Thank you.